Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well today's deck I am calling There Will Be Blood and I've always really enjoyed the aura enchantment deck that goes around the mono black version. At least I enjoy playing it. I do not enjoy at all playing against it unless I'm playing a heavy control deck and then it's kind of fun. But uh, what I did is to make this deck a little different, spice it up a little, is we took the the deck that already existed, the package, we added some white to it, and then we put in Blood Sky Berserker as kind of like a big old finisher, the build around of the deck. So let's get into it real quick so we can get into the gameplay. First off, we have four copies of Al Seeds of Life's Bounty and four Selfless Saviors as early game drops that also protect our other important creatures, such as Hateful Eidolon, which is less important than the other two, which is Blood Sky Berserker and our Loris of the Dream Den. So those are really important for the deck. Then we have four copies of Art Fiend Vessel. This is another amazing one drop that we don't care if it dies. In fact, it's in our best interest if it dies because we want to bring it back later and get ourselves a huge 5-5 flyer. Then we have four copies of Deadweight. This is one of our, our removals in the deck. Not only is it removal though, but then we get to draw cards whenever we kill a creature using that because we have four copies of Hateful Eidolon. So just an, an amazing one drop, one two. So it stops a lot of the one ones out there. It has lifelink and whenever you kill a creature that was uh, enchanted or an enchanted creature dies, uh, you go ahead and draw cards. So that's amazing. You have two copies of Mogus Favor. This one is once again a removal that will draw you cards with Hateful Eidolon, but it can also be used as a pump. So you can put this on your Hateful Eidolon or your Blood Sky Berserker as long as it has some tokens on it already, or your Loris, and now you've got a little bit bigger of a creature. Go in and try to finish out the game. We've got three copies of Village Rites. This is just a really good way to draw cards and disrupt your opponent. You can use it on your own Arcfiend Vessel if they just keep letting it through because they don't want you to get to that 5-5, draw cards, and then bring out the big 5-5. Or if they're going to do something like Brazen Borrow It and Bounce It or Bone Crusher, um, the stomp side, if you have the black up, which you want to try to do, have available, is you want to Village Rite your own creatures because now that there's no creature on the board, now that creature goes straight to the graveyard. They don't get the second half. Their creature is not on an adventure. We have four copies of Blood Sky Berserker from the new set, one black, one call us one, one human berserker. When you cast your second spell, each turn put two plus one plus one counters on Blood Sky Berserker. And then this is really important too, it gains menace until end of turn. So that's why the deck has almost all one drops, couple two and a couple three drops is we're really building around this with a lot of value at the same time in our cards. We have four copies of Meyer Gra Meyer's Grasp, which we're using in the same way as we're using Deadweight, except instead of minus two, minus two, we're getting minus three, minus three. It gets around bigger creatures. Um, nice thing is if you have to use a Meyer's Grasp and a Deadweight on a Lovestruck Beast, you get to kill it, thank goodness, but you also get to draw two cards if this is on the board, so that's nice. We have two calls of the Death Dwellers in the deck just to help reoccur cards that they're trying to kill because our opponents are going to want to be killing cards the entire time. They don't want us doing anything, especially since they're low drops. They're easy to kill with almost everything in the deck dies to eliminate. In fact, everything in the deck dies to eliminate. Uh, the only thing that doesn't die to Heartless Act, if, if it has tokens on it, is Blood Sky Berserker. So you, you really want to be able to bring things back. Speaking of which, we have four copies of Loris of the Dream Den. Why put one as a companion that you have to bring in later when you can just put four in the deck and it works completely with the entire deck anyways so once you get this on the board it's really amazing and you can do all kinds of things so the whole point of the deck obviously is to throw lots of valuable one drops really early in the game and then go ahead later in the game or as soon as you can protect it and do it throw the blood sky berserker start throwing two cards a turn and just destroy them as fast as you can. When you get Loras on the board, it's nice because as long as you don't draw a land, even if you're out of cards in your hand, whatever you draw plus whatever's in the graveyard gives you two cards, puts the tokens on Blood Sky Berserker. You go ahead and you attack them again. It's really, really nice because you're just damaging them over and over and over again. And then we only have 21 lands in the deck, but that's because we only go to a three drop. So that is the package. That is what we're trying to do with the deck. If you don't mind, it's completely free, really quick. It takes like two seconds. Please subscribe to the channel. It means a whole lot to us over here. Give the video a like. Comment down below. We love hearing from you. We're going to have a summary at the end, and let's get into the gameplay. Hello, Gene1972. Finally, someone older than me. Let's see what they've got. Okay, so our opening hand is nice. Three lands, a Loris, Deadweight, Blood Sky Berserker, and a Myers Grass. The only thing that would be better is if we had a Hateful Eidolon, I guess. So let's just keep this, and we'll lead off on... Uh, there's no reason to go with black first. So we're going to do white just to throw them off. 
We're a mono white deck that missed our one drop. That's as far as they're concerned. Okay, well, um, okay, so that's they're showing black and red, so we could lose our Bloodscab Berserker instantly. So as much as I don't like it, we're going to play a turn behind our curve to protect Blood Sky Berserker because it's one of our main win cons. Unless we want to beat him up to death with little stuff. Art Fiend Vessel. Okay, so we have a lot of black in our hands, so let's throw that as black. Uh, if we kill this, they just get it back again, huh? Yeah, they do. But we could Loris it and get yeah. Let's take advantage of this thing to the fullest. That might not have been smart because we potentially just gave our opponent a five-five flyer. But if we do everything correct next turn, like if we hit a land, or or uh, yeah, we need a land, pretty much a land. But. Uh, we should have let, see, and that's why we should have protected it. That's okay. We got another one, and we got a Loris. So let's get the Blood Sky Berserker out there. Let's attack for one. And we really need to find some land. <laughs> what you got for us, opponent? You have got a, a little bit of a life gain there. Tap land, blood fill caves. Okay. What are you coming at us with? What are you coming at us with? Heartless sack, so we gotta go ahead and pop this. Give it protection from that black. Jeez, we really needed. Okay, so I think we're holding the Loris until we get more advantage from it. Oh I hate this play. So nobody watch, but we're trying to draw cards. We're gonna drop the hateful idol on. We're gonna Myers grasp it. Getting a some tokens on here. Hopefully, if they have Heartless Act again in their hand, we, they can't do anything. Oh, another land. So that's good. And attack for three. So, if Blood Sky Berserker lives through the turn, that would be nice. A doggo would be nice. A selfless savior. Oh, no. Okay. 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 <laughs> Oh man, what can we do to this person? So minus three, minus three doesn't do anything on its own. Minus two, minus, I don't know. We're gonna throw the Loris. We have a Myers Grasp here and a Myers Grasp here, so we can kill the five five next turn. Let's pump up our Berserker and get in with it. So let's dead weight this. Just to make it a little smaller. That's all we're doing. Swinging in. End our turn. We're going to do double Myers Grasp. Pumping this again and making it unblockable. Because I think they're going to attack with this. And I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. We have to pick that and they get a 5-5. Five, five. Plus they have a lot of land open too. So, Loris could be goner. That's the case. Yeah. Okay. So, we, we know we... We already knew that was happening. Yep. Boom. Okay. Oh, hey. So, that's not... I mean, if we're just going to naturally draw a dead weight with a Myers Grasp, we're good. So, let's Myers Grasp it. Let's dead weight it. Let's get this some pumps. Make that a 7-7. Seven, seven. Attack. Boom. And next turn, if they don't... If they don't kill our Blood Sky Berserker, I think it's lethal. I mean... I know it's lethal. I'm saying I don't know if they'll have enough to block. Okay, so we're still good. They're going to attack. They get nothing out of it. We're going to bring in Loris. This is perfect. So we bring in Loris. Good game, opponent. We'll bring in the dead weight. I don't know what's in their hands, so we might as well Miner's Grasp. So just in case they get one more out of the deal. Boom, that's gone. Swing in for nine. That should close it. Good game. Woo, I like it. We have Trigon88. You don't have to brag about how young you are. Okay, so we've got a pathway and a swamp, so we've got all the colors we need. we got a selfless savior, an Arcfiend Vessel, Village Right, so we're going to go ahead and keep this. And we'll slam our Arcfiend Vessel out, probably, because we don't care if we lose it right away. It would be nice if it lives till turn two, so we throw the selfless savior and hold up the Village Rights, but... 
we have two Lorises. Uh, let's get them out there. There's Trigon. Trigon is finally Try here. We're starting this game. They are in the tank. Oh, it is a blue green no land okay so now we're going to definitely throw this one on white since we just drew another pathway and we're going to stick with our plan it's a selfless savior we're jamming in with her one gain a little life because it all matters in holding up the village rights let's see what our opponent has are they just blue green yeah probably blue green snow a little little simic action here it's passing the turn so we can't throw Loris and bring the Arcfiend Vessel back in the same turn, so I'm not going to Village Rites right now. There's another land. Doesn't feel bad at all. We'll throw this on black. We have two Lorises, and we have a Saltless Savior, so we're going to jam one out there. Uh, I don't think it matters until after we attack. It's always get in the habit of attacking first, casting on second main phase, and then passing the turn. Now next turn we can Village Rites and bring the Arcfiend Vessel back all in the same turn. All kinds of advantages. Land of War Visionary. Nice. A little mana ramp from our opponent. They have a full grip of cards. Seven in hand. Okay, we'll start the turn. Another Loris isn't my favorite thing in the world. We'll throw this on white to really round everything out. Uh, oh, wait, wait. We can't do every... Oh, yeah, we can. I'm not casting one of these. There's so many of these now. So, let's... Let's village rights the uh, vessel. It's not getting through that 1-1 one, one anyways. Boom, boom. Draw some cards. I like it. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and deadweight this. Bring that right back. Let's go ahead and throw a life. I'll see the life's bounty. We're going to wait a turn on this, obviously, because it was better to do the deadweight and clear their board up. And now we can swing in with the team, leaving one mana open for our Alcide to protect. We look like we're in a pretty good position here. All they can really do is bounce. Oh, I mean, they have fight cards, but they have to have a creature. Green has fight. I don't know what our opponent has. Four land, and it's a Jorn, God of Winter. I don't think we have what it takes to kill it in there, but maybe we'll top deck the, uh, the card we need. What we need? We need a Myers Grasp right off the top. Clean it up. Take our turn. A Village Rights is not it. We can turn that into a, a sad little one-one, and then it doesn't hurt our uh, doesn't hurt our Loris when we attack. But I think I'm okay with throwing this, attacking with the Loris, and if they block, then we have another Loris to back it up. So let's throw the Arc Queen Vessel and get ourselves a giant five-five. Let's swing in with our Loris. I mean, why wouldn't they take the trade? It seems like a great trade. I mean, they probably maybe they want their their snow. Okay, and we have a 5-5 five, five to block that 3-3 three, three if it wants to go ahead and swing in. And we also have a village rights for a little bit of extra value in here too. Loris is coming out of our nose. <laughs> Say, okay, they fabled passage. They're going to crack that and go probably find a snow land. Why, why not? Kind of synergizes with Jorn. They can cast something big and then attack with Jorn. It'll be a sacrifice. Midnight Clock is the play. don't think that they're going to see Midnight. I plan on trying to win before the stroke of Midnight happens. It's a two-turn clock with a 5-5 five, five flyer in the air. So, nice thing is if they threw a flyer, every single turn we can block it. Uh, or we can get through it with the Alcide and then rethrow the Alcide with the Loris. They get to draw another card with the Land of War Visionary. So they have the Jorn and the Land of War on the board. I would have waited and attacked if they were going to attack. They probably won't. But if they were going to attack, kind of. I know they wanted more mana, but... Now I know there's, I don't know. I guess they do have combat tricks, because if they swing, everything reloads. Because, I mean, we can block and then just, you know, use the puppy. We have all kinds of options. Okay, so we're going to take our turn. They get a tick off the midnight clock. Draw for turn is selfless savior. We have a dead weight. Oh, man. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We don't win this turn anyways, so I think we just dead weight the visionary just keep them down on land we really didn't need to do that but it doesn't hurt we throw the selfless savior 
just for even more redundancy and protection, we go into attack mode with just... No, we're going to swing with the Loris 2. Good game. Yeah, I was going to say, we could swing with the Loris 2. We don't need it anymore. Got him. Who do we got? You're a... You're a 97? All black cards in a hand with two planes is not going to do it. So that's a mulligan. Four lands. Blood Sky Berserker. Myers Grass. Call the Death Dweller. Ooh, it's not really a pretty hand at all. But let's uh, let's keep it. Let's ship up planes. Lead with the swamp. And call it a day. What do you got for us? You're a... You're a playing blue. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we'll throw this on white so that we have a white source out there. We could run the uh, Berserker out. Since they only have blue showing, they could only bounce it. Uh, if they throw black, we could lose this. It might have been better to throw the Hateful Idol on just to try to draw some removal. Let's see what our opponent's up to. There's the black I was afraid of. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We have mills that many cards okay so we can't have that so let's throw this out on black to, uh, so we have more black we'll throw the hateful idol on then we'll throw the dead weight which is going to draw a card here put two counters on here we're going to attack for three it's a whole lot of stuff happening you die you draw oh uh so we could <laughs> The reason I'm waiting here is we could throw this now and protect the Blood Sky Berserker or wait till next turn to get more counters on it. It can't get more counters if it's dead. So, unfortunately, we're going to throw that and hope we draw another card to be able to do two next turn. But let's just swing for now. Or not draw another card or, uh, to, to boost this up to. That's our goal. we got to close them out quick. Blue, gr Black, green is n Black, blue is not a colors you want to be playing against for long. That's amazing. One, they can't block. Two, we can just Myers grasp it. So, if we draw any one drop white or black then we get put counters on here and we're still on our game perfect except for it's more perfect because now we're drawing two cards so we'll put the hate flight on down talk about synergy we'll throw the myers grasp it triggers the blood sky berserker we have a five five we draw two cards probably hopefully one's a land there we go uh, there's the white swing in with the team five six seven taking them down to ten we're at 21 We'll seal this up nice and fast. And unless they wipe our board right now. And then we have the fill beds. Okay. Sleep of the dead. Tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its control. It's untapped. And you can un... Oh. He makes me sad. Blood Sky Berserker. You're no longer part of the team. Can't do anything with the call of the Death Dweller. So we'll just swing. Hit them for three, gain some life, and when they throw a creature, we're going to be drawing cards. I mean, we have a lot of removal and a ways to draw cards off of it, so that's fine. What do we got here? A harp, a harpy uh, at the beginning of your combat turn. Each player mills three cards. Okay, I mean, that makes my call of the Death Dweller better, in theory. Okay, I don't think it made it horrible. It's not my favorite, but okay. First thing we're going to do immediately is draw two cards by using dead weight. Oh, hey, are you back up and running? I thought you stayed tapped. Okay, that's nice. That was a one-time thing. I'm so used to it being forever. Okay, well, then let's throw a land and let's just finish the game. I won't be a jerk and do anything else. We'll just finish it out. Good game. You're, uh... You got Benny. What's up, Benny? Are you 23? Were you 23 when you made the count? You like the number 23? Was that Jordan's number? Anyways. Okay, so we have three uh, lands. One's the pathway, which we'll probably put on white with two swamps. Bounty. I'll see the lights bounty times two. Hateful Idol on Myers Grass. We'll keep it. Let's throw um, the swamp first on Hateful Idol on. That way, if they throw a creature, we can kill it and draw a card. Get some uh, card advantage going. It looks like Hateful Eidolon might be dead. No? Okay. So they didn't throw a creature. Let's get this out on white. Throw the Alcida Life's Bounty. If they're going to kill the Hateful Eidolon, they're doing it now. Otherwise, we got it protected. We got a Loris to start bringing stuff back. That's nice. Buy Hateful Eidolon. Eliminate is the play. And we'll end the turn. Leave our opponents on Mono Black Snow. Liana Stewart. 
It doesn't bother us. Uh, it's your... Oh, okay. Whew. I didn't want to push it. Didn't want to hit it. Okay, so we'll, we'll throw out a swamp since we only have one land to play. And... Why would you tap the white there? I don't want to use this. So, we'll throw off the Lice Bounty. Because we don't need to protect another bounty with another bounty. We'll throw off the Myers Grass because we have a Loris to get it back later. Eliminate that problem. Attack him for one. Pass him turn. Our hand, I think, needs at least one more land to be somewhat strong. But even then, Extinction Event. Okay. We're not getting those back. But they did just use an Extinction Event on two one ones. So what we're going to do here is throw, oh man, this just isn't strong if they have removal to kill it anyways. This isn't the smartest thing, but we're going to do is we're going to kill it. And if we top deck a land next turn, we get a 5-5 flyer. We're just trying to play to our outs right now. Our opponent's not doing much. They probably have removal just to easily kill that 5-5, but hey, let's try to do something. Um, that'll protect the 5-5 later if we ever get land. They'll probably just kill the doggo. At the end of our turn here, because if they have removal, why not eliminate it? They didn't, so they're not concerned about it. They don't have removal. There's land in the deck. Like, I'm almost positive positive of that. So we'll throw the Alcide. If they kill the Selfless Savior now, that's funny, because we're not going to use it to protect the Alcide. Okay. There you go. You got it. You got to get through these uh, control decks sometimes the hard way. By that I mean just grinding it out. Because they just got so many removals. Not a lot of threats. We'll probably draw a land now because this is the turn where we're going to want a Myers Grasp. And so we can't throw Loris and Myers Grasp if we hit a land. Oh, we didn't hit a land. Okay, well. There is no land in this deck, apparently. Swing at him for one. And the turn. Hello, land. Are you in here somewhere? Okay, we are fine with that. We'll discard the favor. Okay, our turn again. For the love of everything. Well, we have a berserker and we have a way to protect it with the bounty. And if next turn we hit a land. Then we can go get a puppy, which would be a Loris and a dog, making this a 3-3. Three, three. And we could protect it, even though we'd be tapped out. No attacks. We, we don't want to lose our 1-1 one, one to that Elder Fang Disciple that doesn't do or mean anything. Let's see what our opponent's going to do. They just pass him a turn. The part, I mean, I would have swung. Where is the plan? We still can do two things in this turn. Uh, no, we can't, because he costs three. Oh, man. This is hilarious. We'll throw this. Get rid of that. So we'll mog Mogus Favor to kill the Elder Discipline, so we can swing in for two. We just took the protection off of our Blood Sky Berserker, but at this point, they haven't they didn't show removal yet, so we're hoping they ran out. We're just... Soul Shatter. At least, uh, if we ever draw another land, we can start bringing stuff back out. This is one of those really frustrating games where we, I think we would have won with one more land. There it is. Let's see if we can do anything now. So, we're gonna throw this. No! It threw the wrong color, so now we can't even throw the puppy. Okay. Well, now we're done. Because we have to protect the Loris with the Alcide of Life's Bounty. And so, if they... Yeah. There's only so many things we could have did there anyways. Like, if, And if they throw a Soul Shatter or anything like that, we lose the Loris anyways. I just have a bad feeling about this Loris at the moment. Uh, we'll definitely use this on black. In response, if they have another counter spell, they can just, I mean, uh, another removal spell, they can just do it now. Hey. So that signifies that they don't, or if they do, it's another sorcery speed. Hey, finally. Okay. Let's throw... This, I want to throw the other one. It would be so amazing. But, if we throw the Selfless Savior, we could protect 
This gets bumped up, and we save this for next turn so that we can do two things again. We'll swing for three. It's taking us some time. And this is one of the reasons why, if you're going to play a control deck such as this mono black deck, you got to have a few more threats sooner. I hope I didn't jinx myself because this could be an Ugin turn right here. Meyer's Grasp. So that does not protect the Selfless Savior. Can't protect it from that. So we know they don't have any more removal. Or at least if I had to guess. I think they top decked that. They have no way to like win. Just just ways to annoy us. Is that what's happening? So we'll throw this. We'll throw the Eidolon. Next turn we can throw this on the Eidolon. And attack for a little bit more. Man, they've had the answers, haven't they? We're hoping they don't draw another land, because I have a feeling Ugin comes out at that point. There's a Lantern, which we can definitely outrace. Oh! Outrace the Lantern. So, we'll just, uh... We'll lose three life. Foretold? They just foretold us. Okay, so we take our turn. And now we're going to just draw land, because we don't want it. So, we'll get rid of... Oh, wait, no. Don't get rid of that one. We'll get rid of... Things that we can't bring back or don't care about as much. Okay, we need a Myers Grass. We, wait, we don't want to get rid of that. Man, everything in here is pretty good. One Blood Sky, one Al Seed. That's what we'll go with. Okay, and let's swing in for five. And I'm nervous of what this is. <laughs> Feed the Swarm. Destroy target creature or enchantment. It looks like they went for the creature. So let's... I mean, this does... The clock is now not a two-turn clock. Or a one-more-turn clock. So they just help themselves out there by a whole turn. They can take her twice. We'll lose... We have plenty of life. They're going to take it again. Uh, target opponent discards two cards. If, okay, so they're just drawing two cards. Okay. Nothing I can do there. Okay, and they can take it again. We hit them for four now. That's lethal. I thought we were one off. So this must have... Target opponent discard... Okay, so that's game over. Good game, Benny. Good game. We got there. It took us some time. Let's just do the swinging. Woo! I did not think we were coming out of that one. Stay patient. Head the student. That's going to be a weird name when you graduate. Student of life. We go first. We have both colored lands that we need. One pathway, one swamp. Two life. I'll seed of life's bounty. Dead weight. Hateful Eidolon. Myers grass. So we're definitely going to keep it and start with the hateful. Hopefully our, hoping our opponent can't get rid of the hateful. Hold on. Let's see. If we start with this on white and go out seed. Next turn we can't do both. Yeah. Let's let's live life on the edge. If this lives a turn. Then we're good. They're green. So we'll throw this on white so that we have both colors represented. Hello, howdy do. I think we throw a Alcide. Attack for one, pass a turn. I don't know what else colors, but they're just mono green. Almost everything they throw, we can kill with what's in our hand. Uh, except for their turn three, which would be a love strut beast, which we'd have to two card. Okay, there we got. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has an adventures. Why have I seen this card lately? It's not the first time. Is this a new build that people are working on? So that doesn't bother us at all. We got a swamp off the top. That is amazing. We're going to deadweight that and draw some cards. Or draw a card. They're showing white, green. I don't think they can do anything too crazy to us. Let's throw the Arcfiend Vessel so that that dies soon. Leave the last land open so we can protect our creatures. Pass. We're probably going to end up killing our own Arcfiend Vessel if, as soon as we find a way to bring it back. Innkeeper. Oh, that's... I hope you can use it right now. Can't let you have that. Okay. Okay. That's a way to get it back. So... We dead weight. The innkeeper. No value for you. I don't think they can get rid of this. So, let's do it. We lost our protection, but that's okay. We have a Laris now. That's our new protection. Okay, another white, so three white and a green. 
we keep okay we just keep them we're keeping them off their edge wall and just, people get so caught up on edge wall and keeper value that i think they forget that it might be better at times to throw other cards that are better but what we're going to do now is we're going to tap that white and throw out this loris leaving open a black because we're going to slam this dead weight right in that edge wall innkeeper's face probably going to get us a concede we draw a card from hateful eidolon it's a call of the death dweller we swing in with the team we can now next turn destroy our own arc fiend vessel if we need to but i think this is over put a bow on it because this is wrapped up whoa that is a horrible card <laughs> okay i mean since we can we're just gonna dead weight a token and then we get to draw a card we're gonna myers grasp a token and we're gonna draw a card sorry opponent he had the wrong cards at the wrong time trying to get too much value out of them ink keepers and that's a day took him to school i give you a b as you try okay ladies and gentlemen i said there would be blood and i did not disappoint so i hope you enjoyed the gameplay as much as i did it's a super fun deck to win the nice thing is it's it's pretty much over fast you don't have to grind out really long games because if you're not going to win by turn four or five you're probably not going to win at all I like the deck how it is a whole lot. I wouldn't really change anything at all. But the way I am going to change it when I go out again is just to test it. And this could be incorrect. I might come right back to where it's at now. I don't know. But these these Mogus favors felt a little underwhelming to me in most situations. And there was always times where I kind of wish I had a little something different. So I'm going to take those two out for testing next. And I'm going to add in the fourth Village Rites and a third Call of the Death Dweller just to really shore the deck up. Three call death dwellers seemed like a lot to me when I first was building the deck, but even though there's only the one, what, four, eight, twelve, so, I mean, there's a lot of creatures you can get with it. So I was going to say, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of creatures, but there is. This card just works really well in the deck. I suggest you try it out this way. But down in the comments below, let me know exactly how you did decide to run it, what you thought of the deck, what changes you made. Give the channel a subscribe. It's completely free. It means a whole lot to us over here. Give the video a like. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.